uh, Ami Manuel Lanza Amen. Uh, I got to uh, I got myself into this African drumming and dancing stuff when I was young at the age of 12. I was by then very young and I loved dancing. I thought it was a form of exercise because I didn't know how to play football or volley as a day. When I finished my secondary school, I had a different ideology concerning African drumming and dancing. I realized that uh, it isn't just a matter of dancing, it's a way of preserving our mode of uh, entertainment, how we used to entertain ourselves. It also sends the message of the dignity of the African people when you are dancing. Um, the reason why back then the spirit of fornication in moral life wasn't that much was that men and women do mingle with each other. The sexual immorality is concerned. I also came to realize that dancing is also another thing that um, would help you to tell the story that you couldn't have given out in words because we have other dances that tell stories of how the Akans behave in a particular way or that way. A particular dance like Bogomo will show you the reason why when the ladies are dancing they move backwards. And these things, when you want to tell somebody verbally, you might uh, try to twist the story. But with the dance, it just as it is. And uh, I think Ghana has a lot of things to give out. With the exception of dancing in my culture to when I grew up, I also had another motive of exposing the people who are into this African drumming and dancing outside of the country. We were able to go to a Denny show program which was organized in Burkina Faso and then Sukabe in Niger, a place called Busso. And uh, in fact, to see the people dancing really got people um, entertained. And they were like, is that what happens still in Ghana in this 21st century? And then I said, no, not much of that is happening. But thanks to God, with these small, small things we are able to do, in a way, we've been able to preserve the culture of our nation. And uh, I think Ghana, uh, as far as our culture is concerned, is not only drumming and dancing, how we even speak, the kind of, the choice of words that we give out to make our language very rich. But currently when we speak, just because our forefathers are not into that anymore intensively, we speak very loosely and the intensity of the language is not seen as it should be. But I think getting a trip to teach them all these things, gradually even teaching about 12 people, and they also tend to teach about 12 people that we will be able to spread the culture of our nation in Ghana, specifically the people of the community culture to other people who will have the chance to have interaction with any of these people in my